Cavs lost to the Heat 107-104 last night. Haven't won back-to-back -back games since February 25th and 27th. Uh, now they are missing four guys from their normal rotation. Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, Max Struess, Dean Wade. Uh, let's welcome in Sam Miko from HoopsWire.com. Sam, what, what have you seen with the Cavs the last month or so? I, I mean, it's... It, I know it's hard when when you've got all those guys kind of rotating in and out, but they, they got to get they got to get things rolling. There's only 13 games left in the regular season. Yeah, and only five of those are at home. So you know you want to try and take advantage of your games that you have at home, which of course they didn't do against Miami, uh, a Miami team that was also extremely short-handed without. Uh, Without Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, old friend Kevin Love didn't play, Josh Richardson. You know, so uh, the Cavs, of course, without their usuals, Donovan Mitchell and Max Struess and Evan Mobley and top backup Dean Wade. So, um, you know, it seems like the goal right now with 13 games left is really just try to survive and keep forming, you know, what they call, what the coaches will always call good habits while you're uh, going through this phase without so many of your guys and hope that you can get everybody healthy for the playoffs. But it's been, you know, since the All-Star break, because of the injuries, uh, very, very uneven uh, play. And, 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 you know, some of that's out of their control. Um, it, we mentioned 13 games left in the regular season. Is it... Are they just hoping to get everybody back for the playoffs, or are they hoping to get guys back, you know, the week before so they can get some semblance of, of what a playoff rotation might look like, or is that dreaming at this point? <laughs> yeah, well, no, I think that they're hoping to get, you know, ideally you would like all your guys back before the playoffs uh, simply because, you know, it's going to take you a couple games, I would think, to get everybody kind of readjusted. You don't want to throw Donovan Mitchell, Max Struess, Dean Wade, and Evan Mobley all in for your first playoff game because, you know, then it's everything has changed at the most important time of the year, the most important game of the season. So I suspect, you know, J.B. Bickerstaff said on Wednesday night that uh, the three, Mobley and Struess and, and Wade, are progressing. They had some good on-court work earlier this week so they're getting back on the floor he didn't give a timeline as to when they may be back but it sounds like they will be back barring any further setbacks uh before the end of the regular season probably i would suspect within the ne next week or so and that's just a guess but that's what it's sounding like uh donovan mitchell you know he's been struggling with this knee thing now he's got uh you know he had to undergo a procedure on his nose uh, the victim of friendly fire from Tristan Thompson in that Rockets game. So he's going to miss at least three or four more games. Um, and I, I obviously, he's the key. He's the one guy that you definitely need back before the playoffs. So, uh, you know, just a lot of waiting and wondering and, and trying to survive uh, while those guys are missing. 